other uh, technique was you will wait for this flower to develop or as much as uh, bean size. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. You know, uh, the Typhoon Julina hits already Visayas. And guess what? We are here um, at Rizal province. We are already uh, at the stage or signal number one. So there is a rain already. And later, um, probably 9 p.m. in the evening, Julina will hit also NCR and other provinces near us. So we're gonna install the back strap today so that um, the UV plastic will not easily um, damage okay so I know uh, Julina is very uh, strong typhoon so that's why uh, we will have to secure our UV plastic so that um, it will be uh, less damage okay hopefully but you know typhoon um, we cannot tell uh, whether tomorrow uh, it will be look like that again or tomorrow um, it will be damaged all of this one so I hope so so today we're going to show to you how we will secure using the black strap okay so probably the black strap uh, it will help your greenhouse especially UV plastic to hold or to secure a lot of growers out there especially our friends in Visayas and particularly in Bicol region there are lots of the uh, growers out there hydroponics growers out there um, who have been hit um, yesterday or um, early this morning so their greenhouse was devastated um, and um, I'm very sorry for that so hopefully they will recover they can recover eventually because I know this business is uh, essential so we need to go and we need to forward look forward and we pray for you those who are uh, subscribers also and hopefully we can recover so today we're gonna put some uh, black strap so that our greenhouse will be secure and hopefully it will not be damaged so the size of this black strap is um, I think one half inch or the length is 200 meters so I use this um, on our project like South Bend farm and other farms we installed in a, a open field so I have uh, probably 30 to 40 meters so I will install it right away let's go simple strategy guys so Jerick uh, went up there and then he will throw the black strap rope and I will have to tie up here okay. so we will have to strap or we will have to tie at least two lines of the black strap over here so that our greenhouse or our UV plastic is somehow secured but it is not uh, guaranteed that this greenhouse once Julina hits later or midnight our province hopefully it will not damage
Okay, basta ano lang. The weather is weird guys. There is a little rain uh, but there is no wind so the leaves are steady. Over here are bananas and mangoes around so let's go. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> done on this side so we will repeat it again okay so I will tie it up at the edge okay so I will go down I know what you are thinking a while ago so we are just change so we just change our plan okay so that you can cater all of your thoughts a while ago while we are doing this one so Eventually we change our plan and then we want to have an X, okay, X pattern, okay, so that we can secure the UV plastic. Secure everything. So, so we are done, guys. So the figure of X and right over there. So this one is uh, not just a typical uh, plastic, but as you can see, okay, we will focus on the camera. There's a little wire over here. Yes, but it will help you secure all right so this is not a uh, just ordinary plastic band so it will up against heavy winds and heavy rains so this is the reason why we need to have this one in terms of heavy winds bad weathers and all so there's a problem <laughs> How can we remove that one? So guys, after we put, we install the back strap. Here is the update of my bell peppers. So eventually, there is a, a little improvement about the system because it's already fruiting stage. So we increase the PPM from 1,200 to 1,700. Yes. So based on my research, based on my what I observe online or YouTube so they increase it from uh, time to time so that the plants will develop more fruits Guys, this is what I'm talking about. So, I need to have a hands-on experience about what will happen if I remove early. Okay, this one is a uh, side stem, and then this one is the main stem. So, what I did was I removed immediately. Okay, so the other uh, technique was you will wait for this flower to develop or as much as uh, bean size so what I did was I removed immediately like this okay so 
so that I know uh, what will be the hands-on experience. So basically, they have the result already, but I know I wanted to have a result in my own. So again, this is the main stem. This is the sub stem, main stem. So again, I will remove the sub stem, right? And so on and so forth. So this one, okay. As you can see guys, I have a two pattern here. Okay, two stems pattern, two fruit, two flower already uh, been developed already. And then two main, okay. Try to look, that's one. So two stems, that's the pattern, all right? So let's go to the other side. Open sesame. Alright, so we have two fruit already. Two fruit already above. Mature one. And guess what? We have over here. Right? So apply I apply pesticides on this one because this is already open area. And I will secure uh, these bell peppers. So that uh, we can harvest uh, mature bell pepper without damage, without uh, okay. So I apply pesticides available in the market. So yes, uh, but I reduce the somehow number on particularly liters. For example, one teaspoon per liter. I put half of the teaspoon and then per liter. So that it will not be uh, concentrated already. So on this side, guys, we have a mature one. Okay, Let's try to look at that. So it's already uh, two inches size bell pepper. So it's a three lobes. Okay, that one is a four lobes bell pepper already. So this one, again, so let's wait. This is the main stem, all right, and then this is the sub stem. So we will remove this one later when the flower gets matured. But some of those plants like this one, this three of this, I did not remove it when the flower get matured i remove it right away Thanks for watching. Hope to see you next episode in my episode 5. We're in. We will be able to show to you the mature bell pepper and hopefully you are safe there, especially people in Luzon and in Visayas and hopefully in Mindanao. Okay? So stay tuned guys. If you like this video, please like and share and don't forget to subscribe.